Hey friends, how are you doing? So this is your buddy Stable. So today we are going to see how to clone a Conda environment from your Anaconda Navigator. So for that first we have to open our Anaconda Navigator. So as soon as you open Anaconda Navigator, you first will be redirected to the home page where it will show all the applications which you have uh, installed. And the thing which we are interested over here is the environments okay so normally it is like by default uh, at the very start only uh, the base route this particular environment will be there uh, before that let me in uh, explain what exactly is conda environment so conda environment you can uh, it is nothing but you can just uh, think it of as an isolated it is like an environment uh, wherein you have installed a specific version of it is like python and it is related packages or or it, or it is like our programming language or whatever uh, because sometimes you would be uh, required to uh, run your data, like websites or some desktop applications or whatever app uh, and within uh, in a specific Python version uh, and uh, and specific associated packages that also of specific version. So for that purpose, uh, it is always recommended to it like create a separate uh, Conda environment and that would is like uh, we may have to have at least two environments, one for your production and another for your testing. So creating is uh, uh, like a very simple. You can just click create over here. You can mention the name, name, and then no. Uh, so you can select the, so initially it will ask for uh, like whether you're going to use Python packages or R packages. You can uh, either select Python or R programming language, or you can select both as well. And uh, here in, should show the location where this environment is created. Okay, now coming back to the topic, our main interest here is uh, to clone clone the Conda environment. Uh, so uh, I would always recommend uh, people to uh, have at least two, like as I said earlier, two uh, Conda environments. For example, let's say it is like in your test environment, you keep on it is like running your it is like code and make changes. Suppose it, if there was some kind of it is like break or some kind of issue, the whole environment will get lost. So that is why you first do it on test environment and if it is completely working, you implement the same on your production environment. So now I'm going to clone the AKB guide. So here in, if you see there were uh, multiple letters like packages installed on it specific to the project which i'm running and here also on the right side you can see the particular version of the package so for example this pa this package uh ala blaster and a description of what exactly this package does is over there so you can note down those things over here so now now let's move on to cloning so you just have to select the code environment which you want to clone click the clone button enter the name Let's say I'm creating a production and then, okay, so it should populate. Okay, the location field is populated. Now I am going to click clone. So let me click the clone button. So okay, guys, so I have a click clone and it has been cloning for some time. So if you were the repository from the Conda environment which you are cloning, if it is really big, then it will take a lot of time. So since I have already cloned this as AKB test, I am just canceling this. Uh, so you can see over here, I have already created another, another, I have already cloned another environment AKB kite underscore test. And this contains the same package as that of this uh, root Conda environment, which I have cloned. So uh, the uh, the process is same um, for it as like if you are using Windows or uh, or it is like Mac or other in, um, other um, environment because Anaconda Navigator UI looks pretty much same. So yeah, that's it, guys. I just recommend you guys uh, if you are um, seriously developing a production uh, uh, level app or something, it's better to have at least two Conda environments, one for testing and the other for production. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on another video. Cheers, guys.